Well, hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Pisces. So I'm going to trust if this reading makes its way to you, you're meant to see it. I hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you for stopping by, Pisces. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email and we can talk about that. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Pisces. Anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on a Pisces, everyone is welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. But welcome. Welcome, Pisces. Let's get you an angel oracle card. Spirit, what messages does Pisces need to hear? Tell me some messages that Pisces needs to hear. Angel oracle card for Pisces. What does Pisces need to hear? energy work wow and cleanse and detoxify look at these the root chakra colors coming in love this pisces it is time to cleanse and detox because you've got some energy work to do uh, let's see what they say life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. This is clearly about a Reiki healer, somebody who's doing remote healing or tapping into others and helping them to heal. And Spirit is asking you to cleanse and detoxify. We'll help you develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease sorrow at shedding your old ways here so yeah you know everyone seems to be giving up their uh, pleasures their guilty pleasures right now i, I recently quit smoking uh, last april and um as i'm telling people this i'm hearing oh i gave up coffee oh i gave up this it's almost like this massive lent time for everyone and shower of abundance look at the rewards we get for our sacrificing so all right i can do that <laughs> <laughs> I guess the reward is a healthy body. So, okay. <laughs> that too. There is that. All right, Pisces, let's get an animal spirit guide. What kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for the sign of Pisces? What's going on? Ooh, nervous energy. Look at this with the mouse. Kind of uh, distracted, feeling very distracted, feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit edgy here. Just having a hard time relaxing. Maybe that's because you do feel like you're giving up something or you feel like you can't just uh, take that or use whatever it is that you're used to doing to calm down. And the wolf, look at this. Very, very uh, focused, very focused fire energy coming into the mix here. Well, let's see. What kind of Zen tarot card is up in the ether for the sign of Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? A miser holding on and fighting yeah look at this energy it's just very tense very uh uh combative here you're just ready to fight you're ready to jump here so uh people feeling a little bit nervous around you maybe they walking on eggshells around you nobody wants to <laughs> nobody wants to upset a pisces <laughs> a pisces upset oh god <laughs> but look at you excuse me holding on holding on. Maybe you want to give something up and it just seems impossible. It seems uh, really overwhelming to think about. But I got to tell you, when I quit smoking, the thought of quitting smoking, the thought of putting down those cigarettes was so much harder than actually doing it. It's just really, I tortured myself with the thought of doing it for far too long. Uh, but then when I was ready, you're just ready. When you're ready, you're ready. It's nothing anyone can tell you. Slowing down, look at this, the, the turtle energy, just really, really taking it easy now, taking care of yourself and um, trying to get it back, trying to find that calming energy again. Love that. I love that. You're going into meditation. You're really um, drinking a lot of water. You're getting exercise here. I just really feel you focused on the physical body here and just really getting healthy again. I love that. I love that. Everything changes when we feel healthy. Our mental health just really um, <laughs> comes into balance when we balance the body. And water, 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 water. That's really the important thing. And especially if you're going through like a spiritual transformation, we just need a lot of water through those times. So yeah, drink, drink, drink. All right. What are you thinking about, Pisces? What are you thinking about? What is on your mind? Oh, look at this with the star, the healing energy. You really are. You really are sacrificing to the gods right now uh, to feel better, to feel better. I just want to feel better. 
I want more energy. I want more vitality. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. The things you are asking for are absolutely doable and you're willing, you're willing to put in the sacrifice to get the reward here. God, beautiful. Very determined. You are very determined. When you put your mind to something, that's, that's it. That's it. Five of Swords, look at this competition around you or somebody's upset around you. I wonder what that's about. It seems to be a third party here that uh, is, uh, yeah, who's the Debbie Downer here, Spirit? Who's the Debbie Downer in Pisces mind space? Let's see the challenge in the mind space. Ooh, Sagittarius energy. <laughs> Your Sagittarius friends are like, come on, Julie. <laughs> Finding some balance here, finding some temperance here. So I love that. I love that. There's balance coming here. There's balance coming to your relationships. There's balance coming to you. God, it's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, what else in the mind space? What else in the mind space for Pisces? What else in the mind space? Judgment. Look at the major arcana. Got the star, you've got temperance, you've got judgment here. Number 20, what was dead is now awakened. This new beginning, this new desire awakening uh, within you now. That's beautiful, beautiful. I wonder if that's what somebody's upset. It feels like somebody's upset around you because you're, uh, you're finding your new way here or you're finding a new idea or dream here or something you're going for here. What was dead is now awakened. So maybe uh, you put something down put something down, but you're picking it back up again. You're picking that paintbrush back up. You're picking the tarot cards back up. You're picking something back up again. I wonder what that's about. Anything more in the mind space for Pisces? Anything more for Pisces? What's that about? What's this uh, renovation card coming in for? The Queen of Cups. Look at that. And the Hermit. Clean in house. Ooh. Clean in house. I love this Hermit energy coming in. Wow. You really are detoxifying. You are really, really careful about what is in your energy space, what you are consuming, what you're listening to, who you're talking to, uh, what you're eating, what you're drinking. It's just, it's so beautiful, especially you're very, very, um, very much um, uh, deciphering what to listen to here. You're cutting everyone else out. I think that's why someone is upset. They want your attention. They want you to come with them. They want you to be upset with them or uh, be worried like they are or be fearful like they are, right? Misery loves company and they're trying to pull you into this and you are having none of it. You can't have that can't have that. I've already cleaned my house. I don't want any more of that dust or dirt here. I don't want any more of that grime. It took me way too long to polish it up and clean it out of here. So I don't want to introduce it again. It's like a virus. It gets into the house. It gets into the heart and it worms its way through that fear virus, right? And you're having none of it. You're cleaning the house, kicking it out, uh, bringing out the antibacterial solution, which is love and charity and caring for others. And when we help others, that's the most beautiful way to help ourselves. And that's why you're doing this beautiful remote healing here, this Reiki healing. Even if people don't realize uh, that you are sending them these healing vibes, they are feeling it. They are feeling it. You are absolutely a healer here. So how beautiful, how beautiful heal in the world. And we don't even know it. It's just this manifestational power of yours to heal the world, heal the world. We are the world here. All in this together. And Pisces is going to mend it back up. Um, it does upset somebody. I'm going to get a little clarification on that. But with this major arcana, you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. This is a calling. This is a calling from God. <laughs> a mission from God. And when God calls, when spirit calls, you simply, you have to answer. You have to answer. Look at this with strength on the bottom of the deck. Pisces. Oh my God. Oh my God. This major arcana. This is a massive, massive change for you. Massive change. Really allows you to set down the guard. You're not trying to prove anything to anyone anymore. You're not trying to convince them that peaceful life is the way to go or harmony is the way to go. You're not fighting hate with hate. You're not fighting war with war. You're just sitting back. You're leading by example. This is what you do. And it, there's no choice for anyone but to follow uh, this Zen, this Zen feeling that you have uh, adopted. 
What's in your heart space? What's in your heart space? What's in your heart space? What are you feeling? Two of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Look at this, kind of looking in, somebody looking in. Maybe it's this person that's upset, kind of looking in, peeping in on you, seeing what you're up to. Maybe you recently told someone, I just, I can't. You drew a boundary. I feel like you did draw a boundary. And somebody's trying to come back and apologize or say they've changed or things will change. Things won't be the same. And you've drawn this boundary now and you can't have it. You just can't have it. Again, it's not allowed in your house. That worry, that fear, that uh, introduction of the fear virus again it, it's you are the antibiotic you are the anecdote to it and it, it doesn't doesn't uh, vibe any longer you're at a little bit of a crossroads look at this with the two of swords on the bottom of the deck absolutely at a crossroads what's that crossroads about in the heart space for pisces tell me about this crossroads Ooh, the page of wands another indication of a crossroads seven of pentacles four of pentacles and knight of wands mm -hmm -hmm. It's about your fire, about the fire in the belly and you heading out on a new adventure. Maybe you don't want to say goodbye to someone or something or a place. Maybe you're very, very much settled in a place and you don't want to, um, you don't want to relocate right now. But in your mind space, I mean, this is big. This is big. You can't just stay in the same place uh, with this kind of massive transformation in the mind space. So it's asking you to get up and move, get up and go. And um, it's so hard to ignore that. But you've been in your safe place. You've been holding on with this miser energy. Uh, we've got the four of pentacles twice here, the holding on, the white knit knuckled grip. Uh, to keep control, to keep control. So I'm just going to focus. I'm just going to put my head down. I'm going to put my head in the sand. I'm going to, that was your way of being in almost denial, almost denial that this virus of fear even existed. You didn't want to look at it. It was like Medusa. If I looked at it, I'd get sucked up into it. So I'm just going to go into a little bit of denial. So beautiful. I really do love this because when you did that, it's just, that's when the clearing came. That's when the uh, detoxifying came. That's when the cleanse came. And it was truly a cleanse of the fear, of the fear that holds us back here. You just cleansed it out. I love, love, love this reading for you, Pisces. I really, really love this. This is a massive cleansing, especially in the mind space and those you know, those negative thoughts, those fearful thoughts of what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? What would happen if? Just real, real fear-based energy um, weighing down on you. And yeah, you had someone around you. The sky is falling. The sky is falling, Pisces. Why can't you see the sky is falling? <laughs> You're like, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on because uh, this has been tough and I need change. So you were secretly hoping for that. Secretly hoping for the change. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's in the foundation? What is this all about for Pisces? What is this all about? The sun. Look at this with your happiness, your joy, your uh, dreams, your real dreams coming forth here. Just real celebration, real celebration. Seems to be a third party here. There seems to be three of you. So there's uh, three friends or three uh, co-workers or three. There's three is the magic number here. One of you just seems to find the negative in all. It just no matter what is going on, the glass is half empty where you're trying to stay very positive you're trying to cleanse yourself of these negative thoughts and uh, so this person had to kind of just kind of move to the background a little bit you do come into a time of celebration with them they do open their eyes they don't want to live in in fear and they don't want to live in misery so uh, instead of you bring instead of them uh having pull you back down into their world you're pulling them into yours here so it's just like come on come on that's enough of that so you're really encouraging them encouraging them to cleanse and detoxify their own mind their own life here absolutely beautiful five of wands and five of swords i mean look at this energy coming into your card reading here pisces so competition, competition, a lot of opinions, a lot of ideas um, in your past. This line for me is always a little in the past. We're looking at the recent past here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful because this is how we set boundaries. When somebody crosses the boundaries, they get very, very determined to bring us over to their side, very determined to convince us that they are right in their misery and that they are justified uh, in, their, in their sorrow here. And so really justifying, uh, arguing for their limitations, right? Arguing for their limitations. And you're just like, I see, I see all the reasons why you think you can't, but you're not alone. You're not alone. There, There is hope here. There is a chance here. There is 
there's always tomorrow, right? So you're just always trying to find the other side of it for them. And, um, and the other, the other, the other two are absolutely trying to pull this one to the, to the light here, to the light. But yeah, <laughs> there's always one. <laughs> What's the challenge? What's the challenge in the foundation for Pisces? What's the challenge besides this kind of negative Nelly here? What's the challenge? What's the challenge? Six of Swords getting out of there, moving on. You do feel this need to stay. You feel this need to stay. Maybe you're settled. Maybe you're settled in a place. It could be at a company. It could be at a job. Uh, at least the income is secure. It might not be much, but I'm settled. You're very, very reluctant to leave what is steady or what you know, what is familiar to you. Very much reluctant to leave. Um, but Spirit is saying you've got big things going on here got big things. You've done the work. You've done the work. You've set it all up the way, exactly the way that uh, you wanted to here. So yeah. So if you have to wait a minute, I mean, that's okay. That's okay to catch your breath. This is big energy. All right. What else in the foundation for Pisces? What else? What else is in the foundation for Pisces? <laughs> I don't know. Spirit's going to push you off that, <laughs> that precipice hill, regardless. <laughs> You're ready. You're ready, Pisces. You're so ready. You've done all the work. <laughs> You've done all the work. You're ready. All right. You've got the full energy here. There's just really, there's nothing you can do. You've been pushed to this point. And, and yeah, take that leap of faith. Take that trust fall. And yeah. Just ignore anyone that doesn't want to let go right now. They're holding on for their own reasons and they are arguing for their limitations. It's, it's a real problem, especially in America right before this election, because everybody wants to point the finger and blame of why they are not where they should be. There's always some other reason. There's always some other um, thing that got in their way. And um you know, you're just taking responsibility. You love where you are in life. And yeah, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to blame anyone for my failures because then I, I have to blame them for my successes. And I want to celebrate those successes. I don't want to blame people, other people for my successes. So I can't, I can't blame other people for my failures. This is all up to me. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. A real claiming of uh, a taking of a responsibility of the way you feel. And really, that's that's beautiful. That's spirituality. That is the leveling up in spirituality is when you take in responsibility for the way you feel. You're not putting your happiness in the hands of anyone else. Because then they can take it away just that quickly. Just that quickly, they can take it away. And that hurts too much. It hurts too much. That's happened to someone around you. Someone around you is going through that, where they feel like their happiness was stolen from them. And you're just looking at them like, wow, wow, this was up to you. <clears throat> this was absolutely up to you. Why are you giving someone that much power? And uh, go for the next. You really have this logical way of looking at it. But you're taking a huge leap of faith right now, Pisces. Anything more about this huge leap of faith? I mean, look at the sun and the fool in your foundation here. And this is the everyday life here. <laughs> I love it. I love the major arcana coming out for you, Pisces. All right. What else? Walking away. Walk away. Get away. I know there's still passion here. I know there's still something going on here. Look at the steam coming from this cup. But yeah, it's time to walk away, walk into the rest of your life here purposefully, purposefully walk into the rest of your life here, Pisces, because yeah, this is it. This is the doorway. You're at the doorway. You're at the precipice here and it's time to fly. I believe you can fly, Pisces. <laughs> I believe you can touch this guy. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it, Pisces. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Don't let anyone's fear hold you back. Everyone has an idea of what could happen if you move in any direction. Everyone has a fear-based energy around that. Doesn't matter what it is. You could be saying, I'm going to the store. And they're like, oh, last time I went to the store, I got mugged and I got beat up and don't go to the store. And you're just like, oh my God, it's the store. So do not get caught up in anyone else's fear-based energy because you've got a leap of faith to take care. And you've got massive energy here, massive changes here, especially in the mind space. You are changing your mind, changing your mind, change your thoughts, change your life. This is the law of attraction 101. Change your thoughts, change your life. And you're trying to tell this person that, but it's not going over well. So maybe, maybe not the right time. 
Oh, all right, Pisces, I think I will leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. It really helps me to know you're resonating with these readings. Um, helps me to keep going. And subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I try to do readings every day and um, try to get some free readings in there. So, yeah, Pisces, hit that subscribe button. All right, I'm sending you all my love and light. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this. And I will definitely tune in with you soon.